Uh, Ron Bongo here from the Poultry People, and today I'm going to beef up the security around the whopper. Well, I mean, around the whopper, I mean, around the motorbike. So what I want to make is a ground anchor. It seems that every day someone's posting up a, a tragic story about how their motorbike is stolen. It seems like motorbike theft is a uh, quite a common problem in the biking community. Don't really get it around here because we're uh, a bit rural. We do get crime, but not not much of it. To tell you the truth. 17 mil thick, should be all right. Nice piece of thick bar there. What gauge is it? Seven mil? That's pretty thick. I don't know what gauge that is exactly. Next thing we need to check is the bike chain. But what we do need to make sure is that it actually goes through. And of course, we have to take a little bit of a flat spot across here so that it welds nice and flush down onto the steel itself. So that's the deal with the switch on the uh, bandsaw. It's smoking. Woohoo! More things to prepare. once over with a wire wall brush, battery one of course. There we go, it's all done. Still a bit warm. Maybe a spot on that corner there. Yeah the corners let's go over them. But got some good welds. Ground that one down a bit. Yeah I'll go over the corners once more. There's good penetration. You can see the colour difference all the way through the very thick piece of steel there. Brilliant. Two options. If you're going to go into wood, use those. Concrete, use these. And when you're done, ideally, get a welder in, a portable welder. Ask someone to bring one round you. I mean, you can get them from Aldi for like 40 quid or something like that. Okay. And weld the bastards in, in there. As you weld them on, you could round them off, but even then you could undo that with a set of mole grips if you took enough time. So if you welded them actually onto there, it would be a lot easier. Welcome back. Not that you've really been here, but it's been a few days for me. Uh, what have I done to this? I did the corners. I can't be asked doing that. 
Corners there, all good, they're all good, they're all good, they're all good. Oh god, so I think we'll give it a coat of paint. I've run out of bloody paint brushes. So I'll use this old uh, Henry Hoover brush, I think. I've had this tin ages. I think I pulled that out of the skip as well. That's an expensive uh, product, old hammer, right? There we go, easy welding project. And if you know anybody's got a motorbike, well, what an ideal per you know personal gift you could make for them. What did I use? I used the Sealy arc welder. The which one is it? The 140 XT. Used a grinder. 3.2 mil welding rods. A wire wall brush and the wire wall attachment on the on the, on the drill. Bloody hair in it. Not that I'm a Monet or anything along those lines. One spot of paint. Not like me. I'm usually covered in the shit. I hate painting. Jesus Christ, someone's burning small tires or something tonight. Who the fuck is doing that? There's an awful stench. It's polystyrene. Someone's burning polystyrene somewhere. I bet I can find the culprit as well. Look at that. What the fuck are they fucking burning? You dirty bastards. I know exactly who you fucking are. There you go. Fucking hillbillies, eh? There's not a lot you can do about it. Ride with it, collide with it. We ride with it around here. Collide with it. You know what you can do? Get up in a fucking punch up with someone, innit? There we go. It's pretty much finished. Alright Baz, how's things? Not bad. <laughs> Here we are. Comes to visit the workshop is uh what you you won didn't you the other day at the uh motorbike racing about yeah, a month ago? Yeah. How'd you get on? Uh, it was all first on it, didn't you? First all day. That's fucking brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this guy's just insane on <laughs> R6, isn't it? Yeah. You crazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Making now.